In the last example, we used the command prompt in uh, Nano to add the user new girl to the sudoers file. And we gave her the permission to run all commands with a root privileges using sudo, just using all, all, all. But what if we wanted to limit her root privileges to a certain command or to a certain subset of commands? In order to do that, um, so let's run sudo and vi sudo. And notice down here, let's look at the syntax for the way this works. In this case, first we'll look at root. We're saying that root can run from all terminals. He can run things as all users or act as all users. And he can run all commands. Well, we took the most simplistic route with new girl, and we said the same thing with her. From all terminals, she can act as all users and run all commands. But if we wanted, we could limit that to a specific command. Let's say that we only wanted to give her permission or the privilege to run maybe the gedit uh, genome text editor <coughs> with uh, root privileges. So I would need the full path, and it would simply be user bin and gedit. And I'm going to go ahead and save this and Y and save the file and let's test that out so now she should be able to sudo gedit but if she tries to sudo, sudo something else it'll tell her that she doesn't have permission for that uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log out and I'm going to log in as new girl pass password and we launch a terminal here and let me zoom in. All right, so if she tries to do sudo gedit and ask for her password, notice that, yes, she has privileges to do that. She can launch the text editor with root privileges. But let's try a different command with root privileges. Let's try sudo, and we'll list the directory contents. Notice it says, sorry, new girl's not allowed to execute spinf.sl as root on Galactica. So again, by editing the sudoers file, we gave her permission, you know, sudo or you know, temporary root privileges to run one command, but not to run another. Well, let's just look at one more example of editing the sudoers file. So I'm going to log back in as uh, C Germany. And I'm going to open a command prompt. And we looked at um, allowing New Girl to use only one command, or to, or to run only one command with sudo root privileges. What if we wanted to let her run multiple commands? So I'm going to do sudo, vi sudo. And let's go down and change this here. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to create a command alias. So cmnd alias. And I can specify multiple commands under this alias. Um, so I'm going to just call it, um, let me call it text editing. And for this alias, I'll use it to specify multiple commands for text editors. So what I want to do is supply the full path. So usr or user. Um, most of these you'll find in like you know USR bin or user bin, but let's say I wanted to allow gedit, a comma, and then I'm going to do USR and bin and nano. All right, so multiple text editors there. And if that were the case, if I were to come down here instead of this single command, I could simply specify my command alias if I want. So um, text editing up here. Make sure I match it up. Text editing, text editing. In this case, it would cover both gedit and nano. So just an example of using a command alias, just another way of editing your sudoers file. Let's save it. Yes. Exit. Again, let's log in as new girl. And let me go over here and log out. With a password to pass. And here, and here, open a terminal, and zoom in, and let's try a couple of these commands with sudo. So sudo gedit, and no problem. I can use sudo with gedit. 
let's try sudo nano and I can create a file called test and we'll just put some garbage in there and let's go ahead and we'll save it I can do that with root privileges now on the other hand what if I try something else let me try doing hmm let me try listing uh, listing partitions with fdisk in this case sorry I don't have permission to do that so just another way we've looked at you know four different ways of editing the sudo or file graphically and using the command prompt and a text editor but we've looked at how to give somebody full root privileges we've looked at how to give them sudo privileges to, for only one command or how to create a command alias and give them sudo privileges for multiple commands not all commands but more than one command so you know lots of different ways to to manipulate that but that just hopefully that gives you kind of a nice overview of how to control sudo for your users and how to administer the sudoers file